Okay, so I'm going to choose fearlessly taking control. Um, but one thing I want to make clear is that when you choose, because it is a choice to take control of your life, in some aspect of your life, whatever that is that may be troubling you or something that you're thinking about, there's a bit of surrender in that, being that, surrendering that you don't have all of the answers up front. That's where the fear really settles in, is because you don't know what's maybe ahead of you. So you're scared to um, surrender to whatever the next step is, especially if you are a person who <laughs> has so much structure in your life. And I come from a background, a little bit of the military where everything was structured for me. So when I decided to take control of my life and to stop being a victim, I was so scared because I didn't have anything laid out in front of me to make this decision. So I decided that I needed to surrender to the process in order to take control over my life. What I do see uh, coming up quite often with clientele and with family and friends is that they desire to take control over uh, maybe the decision on how to live their life um, authentically and, uh, you know, with happiness and feel, with that sense of peace that you're really not working because when you are doing something that you love, it's not really work. I don't feel that it's work. Um, so in that they're just so deathly afraid to let go of everything that they know. And that is where the surrender comes in. Um, so uh, with that being said, uh, I do want to say that in taking control over your life, there should be a bit of surrender to the process and to be able to realize that you're not going to know every next step that you're going to take. You're just going to kind of give it all up to the universe, uh, whoever you serve. For me, that's God. I just gave up everything to God, allowed him to take control over my life and to show me my next step, but to have faith. But with faith, you know, that's when you become fearless because you can't have both. You can't have faith and then be fearful. So you have to give it all up and just surrender and um, surrender to the process. And what comes out of that is something so profound and beautiful because you find out who you truly are at your core. And you're authentic because your real self is coming through. You're no longer whole, you know, being hidden behind the facade of whatever it is you're putting up, whatever face you're putting up from day to day just to get through. So I think that's my answer. I hope that makes sense because <laughs> it makes perfect sense to me. But fearlessly taking control means to surrender to the process of that which you do not know. That's my answer.